Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. Uh, this, I think, is going to be a two-parter. These are um, some tonic orders that came in before I left on vacation. And so, some of them are actually pretty old. Um, but I'm going to just put everything together and kind of split it up just so I can, you know, speed up the process of me getting them put away. So, if you're here for tonic welcome if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos thumbs up likes are always appreciated and any questions or comments please leave them down below so i'm going to start with some dies um this i'll be honest i didn't pay attention to if these were like wednesday sales or whatever um, but this is called the Sweet Sentimental Gift Die, or Gift Box Die Set. And it's basic, um, to me they're just kind of like favor boxes, and there's three sizes. So you've got this one that's, um, you got this one, you would cut, I believe, two of these, and you would get this kind of like odd-shaped uh, one here's a bigger one then we have uh, a squ uh, the square okay so, yeah I don't know it says the largest die is four inches by 7.7 .7, so you can put it through a standard machine I believe there's three on here Are these two? Oh, no, these two go together. Okay. Anyway, you have sentiments. We have for someone very special for you. We have celebrate. And then we have, it says, with all my love. And then on your day. So you have a couple options for celebrations. Or, you know, you can totally leave those sentiments out altogether. Um... You know, if you're wanting to create party favors, you don't have to use those specific dies. So, yeah. So, there's that one. This one is... So, my kids' high school... You know, they're all graduated and grown adults now. But they were the Samuel Clemens Buffaloes. And one thing that's exciting is we're related to Samuel Clemens. If you don't know who Samuel Clemens is, hopefully you know who Mark Twain is. They are the same person. Our family, I believe on my grandmother's, maternal grandmother's side, um, we're related down that part of the tree. So I thought that was cool. And then the colors are blue, gold, and white. Um, this has a little bit of black in there, but you know, hey. Anyway, so got that. Then this I've had for a bit and I just never got around to sharing it. This was a release bundle, and they're little purses. So we have um, the Dainty Floral Handbag Die Set. I gotta say, this red, white, and blue one is probably my favorite. And of course, there's inlay going on, and I love inlay. So, there you go. And they're showing it decorated either with just pattern paper on the outside, or you can use the intricate layering dies. Um, however you choose. The largest die is 4.75 by 6.5. So again, another one for a standard machine. And then this one came, this these two came together. And this one's called the Delicate Floral Handbag Die Set. And so it looks like we have three sentiments. Thanks for you and just for you. There's 28 dies. The largest die is 5.3 by 6 and a quarter. So again, another one that fits on a standard machine. And of course, I'm a sucker for inlay, but I do like the color combinations on this one better. We have some other sentiments in here. We have a little something. These two would be embossed. So this one is happy birthday to you, and this one is especially for you. So there we go. So there are those. 
Um, there was a, a bundle I ordered a while back. And I actually received this a while back. Um, but these came separate, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of, a lot of people know I'm a sucker. I love Celtic. Um, I'm Irish. My husband's Scottish. Well, I'm Irish, German, English, but you know, anyway. Um, so I'm a sucker for anything that is like a Celtic knot. And so we, these two, so this is called Celtic knot square die set. And then this one is called just Celtic knot, Celtic knot oval die set. And this one here, it looks weird, but that's because you can actually fold it like, and use it as a charm. So you got the little hole there. So there are those. I thought I, I did not. Oh, I did. Um, and I'll save that for last. I picked up another clear marker embossing pen because I love those things. Um, there was a blending brush bundle a little bit ago. So I got another set. Um, I don't think you can have enough of these darn blending brushes. Mainly because I like to try to keep one of all the sizes, but per color family, if that makes sense. I don't want to mix them if possible. So there's that. And then these brushes and the spatulas. And I needed the spatulas for some stuff I'm going to do with um, some mousse and some of the, the, the glacier paste. Um, here shortly. So there's those. Hey, baby girl. And this is, um, I believe, was, uh, I think I ordered just before I left for the cruise. This was a, I think it was a Wednesday bundle or a Sunday sale or something like that. And I couldn't remember if I'd picked them up, but I decided if I hadn't, then I was going to gift these to my sister because she is really loving the tonic dyes that I got her started on. And um, I told her if I come across duplicates, I'd give them to her. And I know this is a set I really wanted. And if I didn't get it, well, hey, lucky her if that's the case. So this is Crystal Containers side. These are side panels. So these are um, the side, well... That's kind of dumb for them to see that because the whole everything's there. Anywho, you can do it as a pentagon or a, I think that's a hexagon. I call it the stop sign. And uh, we have roses, dragonflies, and butterflies as the options for decorating. And there's a few different sizes in here. And so I thought those were fantastic. Come here, baby girl. Y'all, karma's coming. Come on. You probably heard her earlier chirping. So there's that. And, you know, I just learned I don't fight her because she'll just keep getting up here. So, carry me. No, off the keyboard. Let me get stuff out of your way for you. Come here. She's checking out the cruise ship. No one wants to look at your fluffy tush. Bless you. Okay. This next one is called the Crystal Crystal Containers Pentagon Base. So I think these are additional. We're going to find out. There's 24 dies in this one. Okay. So th these large toppers here, that's what this is. Um, you have like the sides to these and like your base, but this kind of gives you the decorative base on there. The largest die is 7.9 by 7.6. So this is not, so it's this piece here, will not go through a standard machine. This, you're gonna need the large format. So the platinum, the Sizzix Big Shot Plus, I think. Um, the Gemini, not the Junior, the 
my medicine's kicking in, so I'm forgetting. Y'all know I can normally spit these machines out, but you're going to look for the, the larger, the wider formats because your standard machines, the plates, the, the width I think is six and a quarter, and you really can't even put a six and a quarter die through with that. So this is too wide. And then this is called the Crystal Containers Hexagon Base, the stop sign. And something I think that's really pretty with these is you you could even do acetate. If you cut out the delicate pieces, mount acetate behind it, um, or put um, vellum. And you can make them little lanterns if you put like little battery operated tea lights in them. I like to do that kind of stuff. And then this one is the Crystal Containers Square Base. So the bases are these these pieces here. If you see, they're different. And so that first one I showed you is, is like it said, it's side panels. So there are those. I'll save the rest of that. So that's all I'm going to share um, in this go around. I will do a part two um, in the next day or so. But one thing I wanted to discuss, some people had asked, and I never really show them all together. So I'm going to show them technically all together. Where's my, I don't have my Barely Arts. Um, I like to, y'all hear me talk about adhesive. If you're new to crafting, there's all kinds of adhesive out there on the market. Um, for the most part, they're all great. Some are better, though, for certain tasks. Um, I love to do 3D paper arts, so using, uh, my, I prefer my Cameo. Um, I am better versed with the Cameo software than I am with the stuff for, um, my Cricut, and I only use my, um, Scan and Cut to cut out stamps, you know, or images that I want to cut out in, like, you know, bunches. Um, so when you're doing 3D art, and I'm meaning things like houses, big houses, if you're familiar with SVG cuts or Dreaming Tree, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, and when I first started doing that, this is what I used. The Scotch, um, quick drying tacky glue. Y'all, this stuff is fantastic. And it is stupid expensive. Uh, super stupid expensive. But it's amazing. And stupid expensive. Um, so then I found um, Barely Arts Glue. And I don't have a bottle near me. And then the other one is Art Glitter Glue. Both fantastic. And I say well, they're kind of stupid expensive too. <laughs> um... Those were my go-tos when I started. Then um, I found the Tonic um, Tacky Glue. Great, great, great. And when this stuff goes on sale, um, so this is the 240 ml. Um, this is your standard size here. When you order it is 120. So this is a double. And um, so I have quite a few of these. But when these guys go on sale on Tonic, they usually go on sales like bundles of three. And it's a really it's a really great um, deal if you're looking for good adhesive. But even better than this, you know, I show it all the time. Hey, Stinker. Are you hiding it from me? <laughs> Is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And... I think it's behind Karma, and I'm not going to fight with her, because as you see, she's wanting to play, and I don't have time for that right now. But um, I wanted to share that with y'all, because I'm always talking about this one, and this one's not open. Um, but I've never shared it. You usually find it, you're going to find it on the adhesive aisle, and it's anywhere from five, I think, to eight. Who knows what the cost is now, but like I said... It's stupid expensive, and it's only four fluid ounces. But it is the bomb. Are you, is your butt on it? 
Yes, it is. This is the, the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, if I were to say these two and the Barely Arts, really, Karma, um, are my favorite. And I would say the three tie for first place. Um, but this is stupid expensive. <laughs> But uh, anywho, I, I just wanted to address that because I'm always talking about them and I'm never sharing the bot, you know, sharing them. I did have a Barely Arts bottle up here, but I used it all and then I threw it away. Um, so yeah, you are being a bad little girl. So, so yeah, those are the glues that, um, this is what I actually started crafting on was this stuff. And then I moved on to the others. These um, I only buy now um, when I get a really, you know, find a really great sale on it, which rarely happens. But um, I think around Christmas time I found something, and it was about three uh, three bottles for a a price, and it was a great price. So I bought just one. I should have bought two. But I have enough adhesive that if the zombie apocalypse now, I have all the adhesive to do all the crafts I want for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is that is it for tonight. The next video will also be a tonic video. It's going to be the part two to this. And then the video f following that, um, the new house mouse um installment will be coming they're supposed to arrive no later than wednesday i'm hoping for tuesday fingers crossed so y'all have a great night i love y'all to pieces as always happy crafting Bye bye <laughs>